one of the big questions I get a whole lot of is, do you, do I breed wolf dogs or where can I find a wolf dog? And um, so I just thought it might be a good time just to do a whole video on wolf dog breeders and what you might want to know. So stay tuned. Say hi, Luna. So a lot of people on my channel ask me if I breed or if I know where they can get a wolf dog. I always tell them to go watch my top 10 essentials video for owning wolf dogs. I also tell them I don't breed because it's too hard to find qualified homes for them and there are already way too many breeders for the amount of qualified homes. Wolf dog breeding is highly controversial. Bad breeders are destructive to all wolf dog owners and the wolf dog community as a whole. Many say the breeders all need to stop till sanctuaries can catch up and others say we need good ethical breeders to preserve the good lines. Nearly everyone agrees that there are too many breeders and good ethical ones are very, very few. You have a lot of breeders misrepping their animals, claiming more wolf content, in their line so they can charge more money. You have others that are inbreeding and selling neurotic and sick animals. Then you have other breeders who don't properly vet their buyers and their puppies constantly end up in bad homes. Most good breeders don't have to promote themselves much and they usually have a waiting list. A good breeder is also selling animals with good temperaments that have been selectively bred wolf dog to wolf dog for many decades. You don't want any that have recent pure or wild wolf in them unless you are running a wolf education or research center. I have one now I rescued that came from some failed lines that reportedly had a recent pure wolf ancestry. He can't be rehomed and he's going to a sanctuary where they have some of his other relatives. When I was researching for this video, I noticed several of the well-known respected breeders are no longer breeding. One of my subscribers has been researching and looking hard into breeders, and he recommends a lady in the U.S. named Colleen Gladstone, so she may be a good one. However, there are very few out there now. Good ones, that is. Also, the wolf dog breeder industry is full of outright scammers. You can find them on exotic pet sites and sometimes internet marketplaces like Craigslist. Good breeders don't have to go to these places to sell wolf dogs. The Facebook community has several groups listing bad buyers and bad breeders. It's well worth the time to search through these. It's also a good idea to visit the breeders' facilities to see how they take care of their animals if you can. Also ask some of the rescues about which breeders they see over and over again filling up rescue space. Spend some time volunteering at a rescue to get experience too. Any halfway decent breeder will require you to show proof of good containment. See my wolf dog containment videos on that topic. They will also require you to live in a legal area and show proof of some kind of wolf dog experience unless you're getting a low content wolf dog. They will also require you to sign a contract requiring you to return the wolf dog if you can't handle it. Usually they require you to spay and neuter as well. They will also enforce the contract if it is breached and they will have the money to do that. Good breeders will also be able to show you breeding lineages. They will do everything possible to make sure you are ready for a wolf dog and their animals aren't constantly winding up in bad hands. Plus, they aren't pumping out puppies right and left. They will bottle feed and socialize pups till they are released to the new owner too. As you probably figured out by now, being a good wolf dog breeder is not a great business model. It's hard work and stressful. Oh, and breeding licenses don't mean don't make or mean you are a good breeder either. There are also fine adult wolf dogs out there that can be adopted. Pups too wind up in shelters. Thanks to a bad breeder, a litter of mid-content wolf dogs were recently put down here in Colorado. I was able to help save one of them, but the rest were killed. Adopting from a rescue is always another option for you. Well, to summarize my 
recommendations are to research, research, and do more research and more learning. Before you go to a breeder or just acquire a wolf dog anywhere, learn before you do it. If you like this video and want to learn more about wolves, wolf dogs, and dogs, please hit the like button and subscribe.